Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. Welcome back to Gundam Breaker 4. This is probably going to be a short update because, uh, well, it's 2 in the morning and I'm kind of beat. Again, just kind of waiting for the, uh, you know, for, for the uh, post-vaccine blah to uh, uh, to recede a little bit. But uh, Gundam Breaker 4 got the uh, first of its four planned DLC updates. Uh, it's going to be one a week for the next month. Uh, I'm not sure... Uh, sure what the uh, mobile suits are this week uh actually the penelope the sengoku astray and uh double quanta saber i think it is and the fourth one that i cannot remember uh mostly this week it is variants on uh existing suits best as i can tell penelope notwithstanding and then uh next week i believe we're uh, getting things a little bit different but uh, th we have gotten uh, also a new event mission, which runs for the next week. Uh, let's see. Apparently it's uh, uh, like special rules with special rewards. Um, okay, individual top 100 and clan uh, rank top 100 to a future that never ends. Compete for the top score until your hit point runs out. Top placers receive titles. And also 50 part enhanced six uh, upgrade parts, which I have not seen yet. So let's this see what else has been added. Bounty hunter quests, no change there. Um, I thought we were all, uh, the DLC missions were going to be new story missions, but uh, maybe they're the uh, special battle event missions I was looking at, or I haven't unlocked them yet. N also entirely possible. But yeah, uh, point being the DLC is this alive. Is and uh we're alive rather which makes more sense this and is yeah and this welcome. event this is also uh, alive you know what since i don't know what else to say or do let's try this let's let's just do this once and see how far i get we'll use the star screen build it's as good as anything and you know see what else we've got going on here well, like i said pretty happy with this one I'll have to get the new parts and see what I can do with them, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, I may just have to check for add-on content and make sure it's downloaded my, uh, uh downloaded the, uh, DLC, because I, uh, I know I have the season pass, I'm just not sure it's actually applied it yet, so. Alright, see what we got. It's a survival mission, so this would be a good opportunity, uh, for, to level uh your uh level of gun plot up to maximum and it is an opportunity i have not yet taken so yeah Did, uh, he does have the claws the claws are a good weapon and decent uh set of skills all in all i have no idea how well, how well i'm going to survive on this but i'm gonna give it a shot okay that's one down close improved close range reaction speed that's definitely something that uh, this can use Okay, yeah, those, unfortunately, the uh, A1 guns are not uh, not that great, so I will let me throw some funnels at things uh, next time I have them. Uh, actually, no, I'm, uh, since this is a survival mission, I better just uh, save my uh, EX gauge for healing. All right, what's next? Next is more gins. Stray, and looks like perfect stray. Would have been good not to have them spawn right around me, but, you know, can't have everything. Pause for you. Yeah, so far so good. You know, like I said, I usually build for uh, regen in general and regen on hit, so not bad. This is all still wave one. Watch this end up taking, like, you know, half an hour after I'm say I say it's going to be short. Oh well. Okay, Master Grade Red Frame Backpack. Not gonna, you know, say no to that. Let's, uh, there we go. Tunnels out. Didn't save that, but so far so good. I, I'm taking some knocks, but I'm not taking much, if any, damage. Not damage that lasts for long, certainly. Yeah, you know, happy to see uh, Breaker uh, 4's uh, DLC announced. You can see the trailer for uh, all four weeks' worth on the Bandai Namco Entertainment America YouTube channel. If I'm thinking, I will link to that. If I'm not, which is, you know, best guess then it's there. Yep. And one clear. 157. Yeah, this could take. 
Okay, but it has for S rank. Okay, S rank it says it says nine minutes, so. And here we have some more gins. Oh yeah. Um, just for just as the brain goes at random while I mash buttons. Uh, I believe uh, Tomashi Nations or one of the other uh, uh, Bandai Namco related uh, social media accounts on Instagram showed off a uh, picture of the robot spirit Scalbaldi beta ver anime, which is kind of interesting to me because I, rem I always remember the Galbaldi as being fairly sharp edged, but the, the, uh, the anime is a little bit softer around here, which I have nothing against that. I, you know, if, if anything, I feel like the uh, MS in Action uh, Galbaldi is a little tiny bit too sharp, which not uh, you know, not the worst news in the world, but it, yeah, it's something, you know, I, I like I like having animation accurate options. I'm so happy I got that Mark II, I can't even tell you. Rick DS looks good. I am so looking forward to seeing uh, what uh, the Hyakushiki and Zeta Gundam look uh, like. Given the fact that we have gone from Mark II to Hyzak to Rick uh, DS to uh, Galbaldi Beta, I kind of wonder if we're not just going like straight up in order of appearance here, which is kind of interesting. Because, um, yeah, the... Uh, yeah, the... Uh, if so, it's going to be a while till we see the... Uh, the Hyakushiki, uh, and especially the Zeta. The Zeta shows up about halfway through the series. Hyakushiki's sooner than that. But, uh, yeah, we'll see presumably the Mara side before we see that. And uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, probably Memo. But, yeah, it's... Uh, ever, again, the anime... Uh, uh, the anime uh, line of figures is just absolutely excellent uh, my friend Chris aka XV uh, when he was uh, out recently uh, found a an, a uh, Sharzaku version anime at a store for $35 that is a fantastic price for any robot spirits let alone the anime so yeah I really uh, ah, I, I'm, I'm glad he found that I have uh, both the standard and Sharzaku at this point and uh, ah, would be perfectly happy getting more of those. I've, besides those in the Ver anime, I have the uh, Perfect Gundam, which has a skirt plate that I'm going to have to uh, do some like very light filing on the socket to make it actually not pop off. And uh, also, uh, the, of course, the Gundam Mark II. And the standard Gundam at this point. So. Yeah, it's, uh, again, great line. Wish it was cheaper. Whoops, got... Uh, Got hit by the Destiny's uh, Palm Fiacchina attack, I think it is. I'm sure it means something in Italian, and I do. You know what? But yeah, it's, uh, it's words. I don't have to. But yeah, again, good line. Happy with it. Enjoy it. And, you know, it is definitely, again, though, with the price, definitely a sometimes free. I have plenty of uh, plenty of boosts, so I'm just going to send those uh, funnels out. Or are they funnels? Dragoons? I don't wait. Oh yeah, sea funnels. They're from the uh, Gundam Age, I think. I'm not sure what they actually do, honestly. Watch them be like they they you know are fire linked to your ranged weapons that I don't actually have equipped. But, okay, I have lost my head. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, taking some hits, not taking damage yet, or at least, again, not enough to uh, to last, not enough to uh, justify spending the ex to get rid of yet. Yet. The only, yeah, the only problem with uh, the claws is that they do not uh, they do not allow for ground breaks. So if somebody's uh, you know if somebody's on the ground, they're I'm just going to have to start comboing them there instead of getting to just you know step on their face. Okay, Beam Tomahawk at Master Grade. I don't, you know, thinking about it, uh, I don't think we have the uh, Wizards for the uh, uh, for the uh, Zaku Warrior. We also don't have the Zaku Phantom. 
Uh, difference being that uh, the Zaku Warrior has basically the uh, Zeon style setup of one shield and one uh, spiked cauldron, except on the opposite sides from the Zeon Zaku. And uh, the Zaku Phantom has, uh, has uh, shoulder shields on both sides. Uh, the shoulder shields also hold extra magazines for the beam machine gun. So, or I guess it's just a beam rifle on the, on the Zaku. It looks like a Zaku machine gun, but it's just a beam. Uh, but yeah, um, but yeah, the, the gunner wizard and the blaze wizard would be nice to get. Oh yeah, there's also the slash, which is the uh, one that Isaac, I believe, used. And, but yeah, it's, uh, would be nice. We'll see. But... Ah, oh, man, I haven't thought about those in forever. Uh, one nice thing I have to say, you know, rip Gundam Evolution, but uh, it's kind of nice to see the Dom Trooper high-grade kit coming back down in price now that it's not in a video game. Honestly. I uh, I always like the Dom Trooper redesign. Um, I forget what its uh, particular uh, backpack is called, but I believe it's supposed to be uh, cross-compatible with the... Uh, with the wizards on the Zaku. It's, it's just a beam saber, but it's just, but it's doable, you know. It's supposed to be cross-compatible, whether it is or not, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot about the twirl. I'll need to twirl more often. I mean, it's just good life, you know. Like, okay, five-star guy, a gun to arm, okay. And let's just send out those funnels again, because whatever the funnels... Okay, I think they... Yeah, they, I think they just circle me. I'm not sure if they're defensive or if they uh, uh, just enhance uh, my attacks or what. Regardless, they're there. They're funneling. Whatever they do, they're sure doing it. Okay. Almost got this. Plenty of time to reach the nine minutes as long as this uh, abyss gun is the last thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot it has the grab. Let's do the grab. I like the grab. Crunch. Big crunch. Let's see. Missiles and swords. And Vulcans and other Vulcans. And intercept with the claw spin. But yeah. Um... Yeah, my dad and I got our got our shots for, uh, for the winter, which is good. And just uh, hopefully we'll actually uh, be able to get out somewhere sometime soon. But just want to be careful as all. Well. Let's do this. Since there is more to this wave, and I would like to uh, clear it within the time limit if I can. I'm betting for this kind of event, I would not be surprised if your time over, that's just it. I don't know how events work. Yeah, I can't. It's hard to uh, it's hard to use the uh, saber in a hand when the hand is like somewhere on the other side of the board. Okay, let's just do this because because it's going to run down sooner rather than later. Yeah, I've got a couple more uh, a couple more just custom. Oh, that was a new move. I'm not sure how I did it. Oh, the uppercut. Chainable uppercut launcher is also new uh, new to me. Nice. Okay. And here and this person. Launch. Oh, or grab. Grab. Man, that throw is not uh, doing as much damage as. Boy, I hope the noise gate cuts out all the button mashing. But let's be let's be real. You 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 know by now, since this is going to be like the 45th installment of the series, you know by now whether it does or not. So. Okay. okay carrier beam shield. Not sure what that is. That is wave three. Is there more? There is. Yeah, it's a survival thing, and yeah, boy, this could, uh, 
This could take... Ah, there's the Gunner Zaku Warrior. I forgot. Yeah, that is in the game. I think it's just the uh, Blaze, uh, the Zaku Phantom in it, and its uh, attendant wizard is there. The... Yeah, the Blaze Wizard was always shown with the Zaku Phantom, and uh, so was the Slash Wizard, so... Thing. Let's speed this up. But yeah, so... Uh, I don't... Again, I don't think that was like a necessity. That was just how it... Uh, how it uh, panned out on the show. I know that the... Uh, I know that the Wizards were technically interchangeable on the MS and Action figures, but that second shoulder shield did kind of get in the way for the Gunner Wizard on the Zaki Phantom. I never think that Lunamar is uh, uh, Zaku uh, Warrior. I think I have just about all the other uh, uh, Zaku Warrior uh, ver and Phantom variants. I might have missed Yarka's uh, Zaku Warrior because it was a very brief appearance in the show. But uh, I also still need to see Gundam Seed Freedom, which I swear I heard turned up on Disney Plus the other day, which seems weird. Okay. I also need to catch Dragon Ball Daima, but uh, Crunchyroll wants more money out of me before I'm allowed to see that tier of programs, and I'm kind of just thinking no. I'm kind of just thinking just to uh, uh, to turn off the uh, auto-renew until uh, the next season of Free Rent, honestly. That's premium too. I'll just skip it. I don't know, like, I, I'm old enough to remember when you didn't have to actually pay extra to get any kind of, like, uh, TV signal, and it was just there. I missed that, to a certain degree. I mean, there's, there's some of that. Okay, now I'm just blathering in my sleep, so, you know, just, but yeah, just, I don't like paying for 73 different, uh, online services, so, yeah. I, I use YouTube, I use Twitch, and I, I... And for the moment, I have Crunchyroll, but again, if they're, you know, they already up the price of the uh, uh, monthly subscription by, like, two, three bucks, and if they're gonna, you know, if they're gonna lock me out of the things I actually want to see at that uh, at that increased cost, I'm not getting that. That's me. I'm gonna have to take these all these weapons into uh, training at some point so I can actually practice. Okay, I am I am now far enough in that as you can see, my health is starting to drop and you know take a while to get back to full. I'm yeah I'm not not constantly maintaining maximum hit points the way I was so. I'm, I'm just going to let it ride whatever it ends, you know, I'll heal when I need to heal, but whatever it ends up being, it can be, because again, it's like 2.30. I can try this again some other uh, time. But, yeah, um, I am totally out of brain. Let's do this. I think it'll catch most, if not all. At least grazed most. Oh, these are Zaku Warriors, not grazes. There we go. This is... Yeah. Oops. Kind of hoping to hit that thing on the ground, not slam the thing in front of me, but again. What you can get? Please stop. There we go. Yeah, but like I said, this stuff's getting stronger. This is definitely an event where you'll probably want to have a level 50-something to get the most out of it, but... I need to do that at some point, but I want to gather more upgrade materials and just make, once I've, you know, just kind of make one build for leveling and grinding uh, that I can use, you know, show off at least once and then use off camera for whatever is necessary. Because, yeah, that, that would just make life a little bit easier, I think. But, yeah. Um, trying to think what else to uh, say. I, you know, I haven't had a lot going on lately. Yeah, no, you know, nothing much going on. Um, 
real bad layoffs at, ha at Hasbro. My sympathies to everyone who uh, got laid off. It sounds like it's a lot of their uh, design people, which is, you know, not great, because their design people do good work, and I, you know, they, they have some pretty talented people, and you're going to need, you know, really talented people to pull off some of the, you know, high-quality Transformer stuff that they're putting in. So hopefully that doesn't mean they're going to stop doing it. Okay, there's still at least three or four more things on this map that we need to stab, so better get this person dealt with and go in. Back up to full health at least. Okay, yeah. I didn't even use a, a breaker booster this time, and uh, not sure if uh, I'm still knocking parts off of things and, uh, you know, bonus items off of things pretty handily, so... I get some decent ability cartridges. I am seeing them, of course. The, those are the purple, uh, the purple chips that uh, fly off of stuff as I uh, as I uh, break it. But yeah, as to whether any of them are actually of use to me, that is very much crap too. I kind of see those as like the end game kind of thing for this. Uh, just like uh, charms tend to be in Monster Hunter, that. Uh, yeah, that you, you're gonna, you're going to spend a lot of time just getting stuff at random and paying for rerolls. If uh, in in game, in Monster Hunter at least, there does not seem to be a mechanism for that here yet. But yeah, you're you're gonna spend a lot of a lot of time trying to uh, get the best possible uh, option parts to uh, complete your build. Speaking of, apparently Monster Hunter Wilds is going to have uh, an open beta, I think, on the 28th, so to be honest, I have not actually watched any of the, uh, uh, any of the uh, info about it. I know uh, a lot of the people I know who have have been very impressed, and just to be totally honest, I, I, it's a Monster Hunter game. I'm going to probably play it, so... I'm just gonna wait until the demo's live and be surprised. But I think Wilds is by the Monster Hunter World uh, team, and of the two modern Monster Hunters, that is definitely my uh, the one I uh, prefer. But Rise isn't bad. But okay, here's a boss. Took me a while to get here, but I'm here. See if I can survive fighting it. It is a Legend Gundam. All right. And okay, there's just a whole wave of them. I was expecting big things. But no, they're not big things. Let's just, uh, just start hitting things. That is, uh, go straight for the combo and see. Yeah, I am actually starting to uh, take sustained damage at this point, so probably should have stayed in uh, burst mode a little, or awakening mode a little bit longer, but that's okay. We will survive or not. Towards not, wow. A break fall? Yes. Healing. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be a thing. Let's get those funnel things out, whatever they do. Don't even know, but I'd rather have them than not have them. And I think I lost my head because my target lock is gone. Boy, Legend Gundam has some uh, really, really vicious Dragoons. I don't remember most Dragoons doing that much, so... But yeah. I think I'm doing a little bit uh, better job of staying on high hit points uh, in this mode, so yeah. Yeah, the the C funnels are still out, so hopefully they will uh, do what I need them to do. Yeah, I'm taking enough damage though that it is keeping my awakening mode maxed out. So yeah. if this is, uh, to be honest, if this is uh, not the last, uh, uh, not the last route not the last phase for this fight. I am still going to call it after this uh, for recording because uh, this is, I still have to uh, I still have to edit this. So. I'm not coughing my head off like I was for the uh, test drive you'll see tomorrow. And the Mi X is interesting. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not you know it's it's got some interesting skills. It's not super overpowering, I don't think, but it should, I think, distinguish itself fairly well at 400, which fairly good uh, place to be, I think, cost-wise, for what it is, with that being a one-year warsuit, so. 
All right, that's that. Did I see? Okay. Do I just keep fighting bosses until uh, I fall over, or is there a finite number of them to uh, fight? I don't know, but this one has four life bars instead of the two or three the last one. I think it had three, or maybe it had four. I don't know. Okay, funnel things out. Just going to focus on the bosses since this is the boss wave, and hopefully that will be what I need to do. We'll find out. Yeah, I like I said, I'm I'm just running out of steam, but I you know since I cut back to uh, three breaker four videos a week, I wanted to try not to miss any. So hopefully you will see this on Thursday. If not, you will see it on Friday. Again, hoping for Thursday. Depends on how you know unconscious I am when I'm done doing this. Going to try and save the uh, burst breaker until my gauge has run out, which. Again, as much as they are doing to me, it may be a while. Let's get those funnels out again. Let's fire a Null Ray, which did almost no damage to uh, uh, to uh, Legend's uh, Stagger Meter. Also, by Null Ray, I mean Zeta Plus Hip Guns on uh, mounted on the shoulders. Okay, now this seems like a good time. A eh, meter and a half, not bad. That's... Okay. Okay, triangle, triangle, hold triangle is not a bad combo either. Seems to hit fairly hard. That's with a with neutral, uh, neutral stick. I am uh, not pressing any directions at the moment. Yeah. Okay, well. Not what I expected to do, but I'll take it. A okay, stab. Yeah, I definitely need to level uh, a lot more of my uh, builds up, but yeah, like I said, just need, need more upgrade stuff, because I, I definitely don't have enough to upgrade everything. So yeah, I'm going to have to going to have to just keep grinding for upgrade uh, for, uh, you know, experience uh, bits. And hopefully, uh, hopefully words, Rob. Uh, hopefully get enough uh, to uh, you know, have quite a few things put together and also uh, hopefully enough to uh, uh, just put together like one go-to uh, gun plot for when I'm playing on my own. Okay. Will we see another legend gun? Once I finish this gin, I'll go looking. First, I just want to finish the gin. We need a support vehicle called a ton. No, it looks like we're it's still all uh, gins at the moment, so we may almost be done with the stage. Okay, that gin's down. This gin down. Also Zaki Warrior, and then whatever that last thing is, and hopefully. That. Um, I forgot one of the ones I have is the uh, Gans Beam Saber. I think it's attached to the shield. And it has a decent little flurry combo. Okay. Okay, they just keep coming. Let's see how long it takes me to uh, wash out of this. And, you know, if we uh, if I get to the end of the wave, we'll, uh, uh, you know, if the wave ends, we'll, uh, you know, smash cut to the end of uh, the uh, results screen there. And if it won't, and if it does, uh, and if I end, you know, then that uh, simplifies editing. But, but I have a feeling this wave will end because unless I'm missing something, which it doesn't seem to, which I don't seem to be, they have stopped throwing Legend Gundams at me. So yeah, I have a feeling, hopefully, once I mop, uh, mop up the Jins and the Zaku Warriors, that will be it. Again, that would be my preference. I again, I just I'm enjoying this. I really do like this game. I cannot do this all night, especially still feeling pretty. Okay, yeah. So square, square, hold triangle is a nice launcher when you don't get knocked on the ground. 
whoops, or sometimes if you uh, drop the combo, it's just throw again, which, you know, not the worst news. Hey, where they just spawned another one. Yeah, this may be infinite. Well, let's see. I think when I hit uh, eight minutes, I will activate uh, Awaken, because I think that'll be a good way to deal with the uh, with the uh, rundown of the stage. Yep, they keep spawning. So yeah, I have a feeling at this point in this stage, I'm guessing you just keep going until you hit nine minutes. Again, just a guess. You may just keep going, period. See what happens. There we go. And okay, yeah. Is it one in? Nope, that's... Okay, I have no idea. Like I said, uh, you know, since this is a very mashy game, uh, it kind of does get hard to tell what it is you think you're doing in the middle of the combo. So, what I'm doing, hopefully, is just trying to keep the enemy incapacitated as long as I can. So, okay, uh, nope, here's more. Yeah, I think it's just going to keep going, so... One, two... Yep, they keep spawning, so, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm hoping it just times out when we hit nine minutes. I'm hoping that's part of the survival mode aspect of it, but we'll see. Does, definitely doesn't look like this mode is end, or this uh, uh, battlefield is ending anytime soon unless something happens. Uh, or unless nine, nope, nine minutes is not the, uh, is not the end, so... Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know uh, when it ends, if it ends. Like I said, I'll give it a little while. It's already a 32 minute video. It's going to take at least half an hour to render. It is almost 3 p.m. What am I doing? But, uh,. Yep, they just keep respawning. So, yeah, I think if I don't, if I don't have, if if I keep ending back at uh, back at three gins, I'm just gonna pick soon to stand still and take a dive. The fact that there is a nine minute limit though that you supposedly can get S rank by uh, by staying under makes me believe this should end. All. This person is alone. Let's see if they are the final gin. Okay, but we're down to one at a time, so I guess that's an improvement. I'll stick with this a few more. I don't know what I'm doing. I say that a lot, but it's also true. Another one. Okay, that's it. Ten and a half. Thirty breaks S time A. I think that should amount to an overall S rank. And that is complete. Thank goodness. But, alright, let's see what we got out of it. Um, bunch of points. And... We got level uh, three parts evolve, bunch of GP, S rank, builder's rank 41, which gives us easy eight, strike rouge o otori, and legend Gundam colors, and also blast impulse. And SSC ABS, yeah, low break combos on wave three. Clear time's good uh, across the board, though. And let's see, they are all level one. I guess since anybody can enter this at any point in the game, they do not want to, uh, you know, make you t uh, totally OP if you go back to the main game with these parts. That said, they do have fairly high level skills, so they will make good uh, custom fodder here. Boy, that's a lot of beam. And Jin and Zaku Warrior parts, yeah, all level one, varying rarities, varying grades. Yes, a high grade five star Zaku Warrior. Um, yeah okay skills through here shield parts enhance up to level four parts evolve up to level four and yeah let's see let's uh peruse ability cartridges yeah don't want don't want that one definitely don't want one that uh, has all negatives hit number and the long range gauge capacity 
not uh, not terrible. I, I think that can stay. Pretty sure I have a perfect guard that does not have a a, uh, a negative. Cover hit points on attack hit, air dodge, and awake engage increase hit number down. That's not terrible. Um, I have break fall and awake engage increase. That goes, that goes, that goes, that goes, that goes, that goes. I think that can uh, stay. I don't use shooting mode very often. Vulnerability time 12% up is not good. That goes. Uh, that goes. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have plain break fall, so that can go. Homing long range weapon plus 3%. That's not bad. Performance guard and shooting mode? No. Item drop rate and quality minus 46%? No. Be honest, you get far enough in the game that you have everything you want, which I'm sure is possible to happen. Having a, a decrease in item drop rate and quality could actually be to your benefit, so you're not just you know, cleaning up your uh, custom parts all the time. Eh, just my opinion. But yeah, all the... Uh... Okay, that should be uh, all the ones that I definitely don't want to keep, and I'll sort the rest out later. So yeah, I did the thing, and sure again i i feel like the dlc should be here but isn't maybe it's on this counter Welcome. nope that's multiplayer desk that doesn't help i want to take another look here this is the mission deck. Um, quest i didn't look under the most obvious place sp nope still pac-man and this is the mission please post very Rival well events is already in. oh add-on content pressing start purchase story mission one dlc i have it Download. I didn't have it downloaded. Great. Okay, well. Good for download. Alright, well, I guess we will take a look at that then um, for the next time, because, yeah. Uh, I, I thought I'd have those. Okay, they're ready to use. Will it just throw them into the game, or do I have to restart? New diorama objects. Okay, well. Mode is unlocked. It is unlocked. New chapter. Okay, that's what I was looking for. There we are. All right, and EX01 version up. Flail revisits the updated world of GB4 and re reunites with its other uh, saviors. And yeah, uh, Sengoku with Stray Gundam is our prize for the first one. But well, we will be doing that mission next time. And until uh, till then, the everybody take care and have fun. Later. <laughs>